real quick and show you guys what Glogster is and how to use it in your classrooms. Uh, edu.glogster.com is a website to go to for more information. Essentially, a Glog is an interactive poster. Um, the things you guys can do with this is take uh, the different types of poster projects that kids would do in the past where they had to cut out stuff and glue it onto a poster paper and it would be messy because they'd handwrite or smear or it would be incorrect and they need to white out, uh, glue everywhere. This will replace that. Um, I like to think of those poster papers as two-dimensional. There's only very few things they can do with it. Uh, a glog is like a three-dimensional thing as far as it, ha it adds that enhanced dynamic to it by having video clips embedded into it, music embedded into it. Um, you guys, if you, if you see a picture you like and you click on it, it can link you to a different web page that we can learn more about it. Um, so a glog, you guys get here and there's different ways to sign up. You can get a premium or the basic, which is free. Uh, I'd suggest you start off with a basic, uh, get a feel for it, uh, and then you guys can go on to the premium if you like it. The basic, the only thing that I don't like about it is it, it limits you guys to 100 student accounts. Um, each, student can have, each student can have their own account. Uh, right now I suggest you guys pair them up in groups of two, that way they're getting familiarized with the blog and um, they're not filling up your 100 student uh, accounts, that way everybody can get their own. Um, try it out, see if you like it, and then you can upgrade to the premium, and then there are so many more features that go along with the premium as far as just ease of use and, and classroom management. Um, when you first sign up, though, with an educator account as a teacher, uh, I was given an opportunity to upgrade to premium for a one-month trial. Um, this right here is my dashboard. It, it shows the logs that are in my kids' classes, um, the ones that I'm working on. Uh, it just gives me total management. Um, they sent me a message real quick. I want to get into this that uh, if you're going to use uh, Glogster.com, I suggest you guys at least register uh, before November 7th because registration is going to eventually change. Uh, the free education account is going to change um, after that time. Um, right here, if I want to add students, I'm just going to click on it and uh, this pops up. I've downloaded uh, I've exported my classroom uh, roster from Skyward, so I can just hit download file, and I'm using the Excel. I'm going to export it in. That way, I can add kids from my different classes into it. I'm going to first start off by using a small class to see how it works out for me. Here's some examples of some blogs that students have done. Um, they start off with a blank slate, and uh, they go from there. They import everything in. They create everything on their own. So this is unique to each student. Um, this is over Elvis Presley. It has a little bit of knowledge about Mr. Presley. Um, as you can see, I highlight certain things that will interact with me. Um, right here is a YouTube video that's uh, embedded into it. Um, I can play the video. Uh, right here is a, a song that he had written, so I can interact with that as well. Um, here is Graceland. I can figure out more about Graceland by clicking on it, and it will take me to a separate website. And here's one for science, where they compare the plant cell versus the animal cell. Uh, just a list of facts. It's so much better looking than poster paper. It's so much easier than poster paper. Uh, the kids will get into it. They're really um, using the hands-on the technology. It's adding that, that other dimension, like I said. Here's the Pearl Harbor. Um, like the button. And then it has some information about it. Uh, different links to different websites, if I want to learn more. Um, so it's, it's completely interactive. I can have a clip on, on a little something about uh, Pearl Harbor. Um, the poster works with you, so it makes the presentation a lot smoother. The kids can go more in-depth. Um, they want to go more in-depth because they want to add as much as possible and make the blog as unique as they can. Uh, thank you. And if you guys happen to do this and you have some really great blogs, I'd appreciate it if you'd forward them on to me so I can take a look at them and, and post them with the rest of mine that I've created. Uh, thank you.